Hello everyone, it is I, Reverse, and welcome back to another episode of the Interactive Fusion Fantasy Hero Knights and Dragons. Today is Day 7. I cannot believe we're already doing this for a week. This is the Fusion Fantasy in which you guys are in total control of what we're going to be fusing away for the upcoming days. Yesterday, we fused away the Worm Shroud Mantle alongside with the Cyclops Battle Gear, and it gave us an epic. So if you want to see that epic, make sure to click the annotation in the screen right now, or hit the link in the video description down below if you're on mobile. In the video description, there's also a playlist of every single episode. Got two epics so far, so make sure you guys check that out. If you missed out on any day, day four and day six are epic days, so make sure you guys check that out. And there's always a, vi uh, there's actually always a legendary list of the legendaries that I'm currently having. So if you want to comment or upvote your favorite combination, make sure you guys do that in the comment section down below. That being said, it's time for the seventh fusion in this frenzy, and um. It is time for the hat trick. I mean, the feature comment of the day comes once again from Shursha. I mean, you guys must really like this guy because, well, by the way, Shursha, thank you, thank you again so much. Like yesterday, you gave me an epic. You've been very like helpful in this process. However, though, um, I think it's kind of unfair if we always give Shursha the screen time. So I would really ask you guys to vote for someone else. I know his comments are very good. I know his comments are very awesome. But I don't think it's fair. I might as well just call it Shursha Fuse and Frenzy because he's always leaving the best like comments out there. But thank you so much for your like uh, like your feedback and all the good stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm just rambling around. Anyway, Shursha is telling me to combine the Hydromancer's Mantle alongside with the Worm Shroud Mantle. Combining the Hydromancer's alongside with the Worm Shroud uh, allows me to get the Tectonic Mantle and the Armor of the Komodo, like as in every single episode. Then the North Nose Battle Gear and the Aquatic Battle Gear. And the last one is the one we're aiming for today. So gonna be really excited. I am, uh, I'm very pumped. I have way more energy than I had yesterday because uh, I woke up really good. I had a really nice dream. Um, somehow in my dream I went to Malaysia for some weird reason and it was really pretty down there. But anyway, we're going to be fusing away enough with my dreams, enough with my stories. I'm very hyped, I'm very pumped. Here we go. Fusion number seven is going to give us today... What? Oh, Mountavine. Oh, gosh. I thought it was Tectonic again. Ha! Huh. Mountavine. I hate you, Mountavine. I, I really do. Um, Mountavine is the most... Uh, is that armor that, that I despise so much. Like, I got this armor on so many occasions. It's not even normal. Um, but it's a uh, Earth Mono, so that means we can fuse it away again with something else that's going to help us tremendously. I want to thank Shursha for its input once again of getting the featured comment of today. Uh, that means I'm going to round this episode off here, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video, to boom, give it a thumbs up. This is I, Reversal for Knights and Dragons. I'll be signing off, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.